Okay, let's go ahead and get started here on Unit 3, Lesson 2, Practice Problems. For number one, it says use a geometric tool to draw a circle. All right, so I'm going to use my iPad, and I have Notability open here for this one. And Notability has some fancy features that I can use to draw just nice circles, but you, um, on your own, are probably going to use something called a compass, right? One of those tools. Uh, if you're in my classroom, I have, one, I have those safety compasses. They're really neat. They work really well to make nice circles. So you're probably going to want to use one of those if you're in the classroom. Um, or maybe you just don't have a tool. Just find something around. And just trace it. Uh, but I'm going to do one of these things. I'm going I'm to draw a circle here. And it's kind of cool. Like I, if, I just draw, if I just draw it and I hold down my pen, my Apple pen or pencil, if I hold it down, it'll make it perfect, you know? So I can just kind of just do this. And look at that. Look at that. Made it perfect. That's good. All right, so there's my circle. And um, you know what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to draw uh, I'm going to draw a diameter in there. Oh. That's not looking at me. I'll do this. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Uh, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to eyeball it. I know it's not the best way to do it, but I'm going to pull out the ruler, and I'm going to use, let's see here. Centimeters. Okay. So this ruler, hopefully this ruler, this ruler is kind of confusing, I know, but what I'm going to do is see where this, this, I can't really zoom in on it, but see where the zero is right here, right in the middle of the circle. That, that lets me like change the number of degrees. I see this part right here where I turn it around. So I'll get that at zero. There it is. And I'm just going to this right, I'm going to do that and I would estimate like again I I, I think the, the thing that you want to do here is just kind of just be able to measure it you know but I would say that this one's about 5.3. Okay, so that's what I am going to put. I'm going to put the diameter. That thick pen here it is about 5.3 centimeters. Okay, so that's. Oh, that's terrible looking. Let me try that again. And look how thick these are. Let's do this. So I'm gonna do that's a little better. Okay. So that's that. And then the radius, you know, the radius is gonna be half. That's gonna be half. And so half of 5.3, you know, half of 5 is 2.5. Half of 5 is 2.5, and half of 3 is um, not just three, but half of 0.3 is 0.15. So I should get you know 2.5 plus 0.15, which is going to be 2.65. That's what it should be, right? And so I haven't even laid the ruler down yet, but I should get something that's kind of close to that. It's probably not going to be perfect because I, I don't think I'm going right through the middle, but uh, I'm sure this will work for what it's worth. All right, so I'm going to get this at zero, and it looks like it's right there, and I don't know, that looks like the radius to me, like right here, looks like the radius, and yeah, that's about, I mean, here's 
right there, that's like about two points. Let's move to it, but that's, yeah, that's about it. So the radius is 2.6 or 2.7, you know. You're not going to be that accurate. But yeah, the, the diameter, make sure you guys, when you're doing this, you know, the diameter, you know, you want the diameter to go through the middle of the circle. That's going to be that. And then the radius uh, goes halfway. Now, notice the endpoints are always right here. Um, the diameter of the endpoints are on the circle. And for the radius, the di only one of the endpoints is on the circle. And the other endpoint is the middle. Okay. Get rid of that. All right, is that? Yeah, we did that. All right, for number two, here is a circle with center H. Okay. A lot of times, circles. That's how circles are named. Circles are named by the middle letter. They're going to be named by you know, this one. Respective middle letter is H, so we can call that circle H. That's what you can call it. Um, but um, what's it say here? Uh, and some line segments and curves joining points on the circle. All right. I feel like these are these are put in there or something. Yeah. Let's delete that. I was wondering where these came from. Like these have nothing to do with the picture. All right. So identify examples of the following. Explain your reasoning. So diameter. Uh, diameter is, I see a couple diameters. Uh, I would say the diameter is going to be um, DG. Segment DG is a diameter. And right here. And my reasoning for that one would be that it goes through the middle and both the endpoints are on the circle. All right, that's important. So that's the diameter. Uh, also, another example of the diameter would be EA. And I don't think it matters whether you how you write those. Like if you wrote GD instead of DG, that's okay. There's no rule saying you have to put in ABC order. Um, or if you wrote AE. And even I don't think illustrative math is is really that concerned about the type of symbols you use for. Uh, for segments and all that kind of stuff. Pardon me, the lights just went out. Got to move around more. All right, the radius. Radius is what? I'm going to erase all this. Oh no, I'm erasing the picture. No, it didn't. Okay, so the radius is, um, you know, you want the endpoint. You want the endpoint to be on the circle and you want it to stop at the midpoint, at the center. So right there, that's a radius. DH, so there's a bunch of uh, radii here. DH, yeah, the plural for radius, you don't say radiuses, even though, as a middle schooler, I know what you're talking about, but the plural for radius is radii, you know, like cacti, but radii. All right, so you got DH, that's one of them. I would call EH is a radius, segment EH or HE. I would call HA a radius, uh, HG is another radius, and I think I covered them all. And this right here, and you might notice that this right here goes to the middle, but that's not a radius because it's it's not linear. That's, it's got to be a segment. It's got to be perfectly straight. All right, so that you can call that an arc, but it's definitely not a radius. All right, and that does it. All right, for number three. Number three, Lynn measured the diameter of a circle in two different sections, measuring vertically. She got 3.5 centimeters when she measured vertically, and measuring horizontally, she got 3.6. So that's that's weird. Um, explain some possible reasons why these measurements differ. Well, probably because Lynn 
Um, it's a human being. That's probably what happened. She's a human being, and she can make errors. You know, human error. That happens. So I'll just I'll just draw a circle again. Right here. See, it makes it a certain makes a nice perfect circle. But I can't really. I really. That's always going to be a perfect circle. I thought I could make it, make it an oval or something, but I really can't. Um, maybe if I do this, let me try this. Oh yeah, there we go. Wasn't that nifty? Okay, so that's uh, right there. You got. I mean, that's that maybe. And this is probably this is a little bit of an exaggerated oval, but um, yeah. I mean, I, I think if you're making something by hand or measuring it by hand, it's just not going to be perfect. I know there's a lot of interesting TikTok videos out there where people make these perfect circles, and they really are pretty good. They're pretty interesting, but um, yeah, it just, it's just never perfect. All right, uh, number three, or number four, sorry. A small test batch of lemonade used a fourth cup of soda added to one cup of water and one fourth cup of lemon juice. After confirming that it tasted good, a larger batch is going to be made with the same ratios using 10 cups of water. 10 cups of water. How much sugar should be added so that the large batch tastes the same as the, as the test batch? Well, this is a pretty easy uh, scale factor right here because it's, you know, in the original batch, only one cup of water was used. Only one cup of water was used, and in the new batch, they're using 10 cups. So that's the scale factor. Your scale factor is going to be, and I can't spell for some reason, scale factor is going to be 10, right? Because 1 times 10 is, get your calculators out, 10, right? You don't need a calculator for that, do you? Hopefully not. All right, so that means we're going to be multiplying the the other ingredients by 10. We're going to multiply those by 10. So we're going to do for um, sugar, the best ingredient. For sugar, we're going to do 1 fourth times 10. 1 fourth times 10, which is 10 fourths. All right, and that reduces down to 5 halves. And if you tell somebody, hey, I need 5 halves cups of sugar, they might give you a weird look, like, what do you mean five halves? So uh, you might want to change that into a, a mixed number, which is two and a half. So two and a half cups of sugar. All right, there you go. So that's what that is. And then, um, oh, it's the same amount of, of lemon juice. So lemon juice is one fourth, I'm not gonna do the math again, but one fourth times 10 is also going to be the same thing as doing one, you know, the one fourth of sugar. So that's going to be two and a half cups of lemonade, or lemon juice, I should say. That was easy. That was very, very simple. All right, number five. The graph of a proportional relationship contains the points with coordinates three 12, 312, what is the constant of proportionality of the relationship? All right, so what you're gonna need to do is grab some graph paper. No, you don't need to do that at all. We don't need graph paper for this. What we need to do, what we need to do is just look at that right there. We're given coordinates, which means we're given the X and we're given the Y, right? We have the X, we have the Y right there. And that's all you need because we know, we know that the constant of proportionality is y divided by x. And we know that to be true. All right, and so we're just going to do, for this one, 12 is our y, 3 is our x, and we're going to divide that. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So there's your constant of proportionality. All right, that does it for lesson two practice problems, everybody.